Hello, I'm Sarah Francis, still photographer testing video capability of the new Canon 5D Mark II camera. When spring hits the Rockies, we are gleefully airing out tents and backpacks before the last snow melts. We Coloradans are very particular about cuisine to camp. The lowly camp stove plays an important role in the eventual pleasure, or pain, of outdoor culinary adventures. My husband Carl, the filmmaker, and longtime friends Paul Sibley, climber, and Billy Roos, Outward Bound Department of Safety, were filming an instruction video about maintenance, monitoring, and troubleshooting the ubiquitous white gas stove. In other words, the boys were going to set things on fire. My chance to fire up my Canon 5D Mark II for a first-run attempt at simultaneous HD movie and stills. Videographer, I'm not. I composed beautifully iconic still images. Going back and forth between two mediums was a circus. No tripod, rocks, slippery snow, wind, brilliant sun. Well, shaky cam was nothing to it. But the Mark II is not easily dissuaded by a totally amateur operator. The full 1920 capture with the big chip is really pretty. So excuse first-time movie maker foibles, hear the serious message, and laugh at the antics. An amazing, dazzling image. I was so stoked, man. I'm going, God, I'm out here. It's like, it's like almost like nothing ever happened. And we were skiing along. Oh, I'm falling. Snow failure. This one is this one is pretty much as a uh, O-ring failure at the at the. Pop. I, I think what I'll what I'll do is I'll say, let's see what happens with this one. And then I'll yeah, you're just looking at it. The weird thing is that the, the camera has a microphone on it, but I'll be damned if I know where it yeah. is. <laughs> Might be able to just chain a loop around that. Oh, so to see what happens. Uh, probably what I'll do. You're going to need I'm to be able to move it a little bit. Texting 911. Veranda Sun. So I'm going to I'm gonna just leave this wide. And I can walk into the thing. All right, thank you. I'm gonna make it tight. Okay, is everybody ready? I'm ready. Stoves have been rigged to fail, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So I've got a tether to the rock here with a chain. Uh, there's people and expensive cameras here, right here. Or I, I, suffice to say, I don't know what's going to happen. Burner assembly here, so that we know that there's stove getting out of here, or that there's fuel getting out of here through the pump and into here, but it's probably leaking right there. Uh, and in this case, we've got multiple essentially fuel leaks. The stove is on. I don't want to get in here and try and turn the stove off now. That knob is probably getting pretty hot. So this is another example. This fire is too big to put out. This is where you want to just back away. Uh, looks like it's melting my little tin anchor there too. Let's see what happens with this one. Where's the steady cam, guys? With all that fuel running out, you can see it. It's not even just the stove that is affected now, but it's running out. And if this wasn't all rock and snow, it could be pretty spooky. And we'll see if the same thing happens with this one as the one before. Now it looks like it's fully engaged. The fuel that's in there now is uh, escaping through the pump assembly and uh, there's no way you're going to put that fire out. 